Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Emily Taplin. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the weeks of November 24th through December 7th. Until further notice, City Council and Commission meetings will be conducted virtually. State statute authorizes cities to meet virtually if it is determined meeting in person is not practical because of a health pandemic. As of November 15th, Minnesota had the country's worst COVID-19 infection rate. City Manager Jamie Verbrugge says he consulted with the city's mayor, chief legal counsel and public health administrator and determined it is difficult or impossible for city officials, city staff and the public to comply with public health guidance following a possible exposure, infection or related matters while safely carrying out official duties. Members of the public may participate in person from the regular meeting location unless it is unfeasible due to the COVID-19 pandemic or electronically. Directions on how to participate are available in the agenda packet. For information on how to watch meetings virtually or participate, visit the web address on your screen. Bloomington Public Health and public schools are partnering to bring COVID-19 vaccines to students. The clinics were held November 21st and 22nd. 400 students ages 5 to 11 received Pfizer vaccines. The clinic was held at Valley View Middle School, focusing on serving Title I schools in the district. The clinics are operated by vendor Homeland Health. Additional clinics will be held in the future. Bloomington residents will have a new public transportation option for getting to and from downtown. The Metro Transit Orange Line bus route opens in December. The 17-mile planned highway bus rapid transit line will run from Burnsville to downtown Minneapolis with several stops along the way, including the I-35W and 98th Street station here in Bloomington. The new line will provide frequent, all-day service in both directions seven days a week. It's expected to take about 14,000 riders per day. Staff have been working and planning for the Orange Line for about eight to ten years um, before it actually moved forward to construction. So this project has been in the works and been envisioned by the city and agencies all up and down the line for a number of years. The addition of the Orange Line bus rapid transit to the 35W corridor really enhances uh, transit all throughout the city. Uh, the local connections, east and west local connections, as well as transit connections all through the city will converge at locations like the 98th Street Transit Station and the new stations at American Boulevard at Knox Avenue. So local riders wishing to take an express service to downtown or out to Burnsville will be able to do so. So the addition of this line on the 35W corridor really is going to make transit much more usable, much more efficient and more economical for all transit riders. To celebrate its opening, Metro Transit is offering free rides on the Orange Line December 4th through the 6th. For more information, visit the website on your screen. Don't forget to sign up for the city's new curbside composting. Residents will be able to conveniently recycle organics at the curb starting the week of March 7th. If you want to be sure to start right away, you need to sign up by December 1st. If you sign up after, that's okay, you'll receive the carts by mid to late April. Residents who sign up will receive a 30-gallon organics cart that will be collected weekly on their garbage day. So a welcome packet will be attached to the organics carts when they're delivered to your home. That will include a starter set of compostable bags, a reference guide magnet to remind you of what you can and can't compost, some tips for getting started, as well as some information about where you can get additional compostable bags in the future. As a rule of thumb, what we like to say is if it grows and you can use it inside of your home, it can go in your organics cart. So that includes things like your fruit peels, meat bones, paper towels, or greasy pizza boxes. Since the material is taken to a commercial composting facility, you can put material in your cart that you wouldn't put in your backyard pile. And as a reminder, you shouldn't put yard waste in your cart. The material that's organic and that is generated from outside your home, you'll still use the regular yard waste program to dispose of those items. Like regular recycling, the Curbside Organics program will be paid for by all residents in the city's garbage and recycling program. The cost still needs to be approved by council, but is anticipated to be $5.50 per month. 
Typically, about a third of your garbage is organic material that could be composted. So by participating in the organics program, you might be able to reduce the size of your garbage cart and save some money on your utility bill. Residents often say that by participating in the program, it really produces that feel-good benefit. They know that they're doing something that's easy to do at home and still help the environment. And it results in a really visible reduction in your trash. Just like regular recycling was a new concept to many people 20 or 30 years ago, organics recycling might be new today, but once you get the hang of it, residents say that they can't imagine not turning those food scraps into that valuable compost. It's just an easy way they can help the environment at home. The curbside program is available to residents with the city's garbage and recycling service. So residents living in a townhome or an apartment building can still recycle their organics by using one of the city's drop-off sites. You should have received a mailer with paid postage to sign up for the organics program, or you can call the number listed on your screen or visit blm.mn slash organics to sign up. That is the buzz on Bloomington Today for the weeks of November 24th through December 7th. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. There you'll find a look at street improvements through the city's pavement management program. Plus your weekly check-in with Mayor Tim Bussey. Thanks for watching.